So now that we've downloaded the drivers for the Dymo label printer onto your Mac computer, we need to go through and get some settings set up on the label printer so that way you can start printing correctly. Now this can be a little tricky, so make sure to follow this video closely. The first thing you want to do is pull up Google Chrome and look up localhost colon 631. This is all you have to type into the URL bar. And what we're doing is seeing if the cups menu is available. The cups menu in Macs is how you set up unique printers like label printers. Now for most of you, you're going to get this message. This web interface is disabled. But some of you may already have cups enabled. Now there's no real rhyme or reason to this, so it's one you just want to check. So if the cups menu is already set up, you can skip over the next part of this video. But if it isn't, the last thing you'll want to do on this page is simply, is simply highlight what is in between the quotations. So this cup sctl web interface equals yes and then simply copy that and simply copying that for future use. Now what we're going to do is go to the finder menu, go down to applications, now go to utilities which will most likely be at the very bottom and we're going to find the terminal option. Now you also can click this gray rocket option here, the launch pad feature, if you have that available, and simply type in terminal at the top search bar. Go ahead and click on terminal. And within this field, simply paste what we previously copied from Google Chrome. Once you've entered that in, simply hit enter one more time and close out of the terminal window. Now you can go back to Chrome, refresh the screen, and the cups menu is going to be available. Now you want to go ahead and plug in the Dymo label printer and now simply go to printers. You'll notice that the Dymo label printer is available, so simply click on its name, go to the administration drop-down, select set default options, and then in the media size, click the drop-down menu and go to 30334. Now for whatever reason, there are two options for 30334 within this window, but it does not matter which one you choose. Now simply click Set Default Options and add in your username and password. Once again, this is the username and password for the computer itself. Now you've set up all of your Dymos settings for the printer itself. Now simply go to your Ricochet account and either in the main inventory screen or in a consigner's account, print up any item, hit print one more time, and in the print preview screen, make sure that the destination shows the Dymo label writer. Once you've done that, you simply can hit print and you will have successfully printed a label from Ricochet consignment software.